I first became interested in libertarianism in late childhood. I've always believed in things like freedom and toleration, and I've been against oppression. But what drew me to libertarianism in particular, as opposed to joining the Labour Party or any of the other, any of the other pseudo freedom parties, is a certain traditionalism which led me to look back into English history and see exactly what was believed 150 years ago and so forth, and my interest in economics. They all added up to a belief in a revived classical liberalism, which nowadays is called libertarianism. Um, within libertarian thought, um, all libertarians are obviously opposed um, to state power invading the rights of individuals. Uh, they're opposed to the state interfering in the economic life of the individual. Uh, they're opposed to the state taxing the individual. They're opposed to the state telling the individual what he or she can do in bed or what he or she can, can read, um, you know, how people can live their lives generally. Now, there are some libertarians who would argue that, in fact, you don't need the state at all, that, that we can, in fact, completely privatise the state. That is, any legitimate functions which the state serves, which is, you know, for example, to protect individuals against criminals or to arbitrate disputes, to have courts or whatever. Um, some libertarians who call themselves anarcho-capitalists would argue that that can be, in fact, entirely, those services can be entirely supplied um, by the free market, by private enterprise. So there are some libertarians who are opposed to the state completely. There are then some other libertarians who call themselves limited statists who would argue that in fact we do need a state but really just to supply those basic services of the police force, the courts and an army. In other words, a basic service to protect against aggression, the invasion of individual rights. So there's a sort of, there is a, 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 a division within the libertarian movement between those two poles. Although of course all are opposed as they would see it to the invasion of individual rights. There are various reasons why libertarians believe that the individual should be free to do with himself or herself as pleases so long as the rights of others aren't violated. A lot of people talk about self-actualization, a lot of people talk about natural rights. I prefer to think about happiness. We only live once and we are the best judges of what is likely to make us happy. For most of history, ordinary men and women have been regarded as sacrificial animals to be used exactly as the ruling classes thought fit to use them. I believe that that is a monstrous and an abominable view of mankind, and that again is what makes me a libertarian.